With over 800 exhibitors gathering in Las Vegas, Nevada, NBAA Base is North America's largest gathering for the business aviation industry. After being forced to cancel the event in 2020, NBAA 21 will simply not disappoint. With unprecedented demand for private aircraft coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic, the world's most advanced business aircraft are here on display. Suppliers up and down the supply chain are represented here at this event and come together with private, corporate, and commercial business aviation operators from across the industry, all ready to meet face-to-face -face once again and collaborate in advancing the business aviation industry. Our next guests here on Straight and Level are from Argus International, the leading data analytics company in business aviation, and they also are leading the industry in safety audits as well. We have Mike McCready, Senior Vice President of Argus International, joining us today, and we have Ed Wandell, also the Vice President of Business Aircraft, Business Aviation, I'm sorry. Thank you for joining us here today on Straight and Level. Really appreciate it, Mike. You and I go back almost 15 years now, uh, you know, through several different uh, iterations of big companies. I know you've been with Boeing, you've been all over, uh, and now you've uh, landed at Argus and really reinvigorated those products uh, that that company provides. With this growth that we see in business aviation, you know, tell us about what your insights are, the data that you see from Argus, and really Argus in general as you've joined that company here in the last couple of years. Well, yeah, thanks, Holby. Yeah, Argus is actually an amazing company. We have data coming in from around the world on all the fleet activity, from the airlines, to the cargo, to business aviation. And our team of analytics, our analysts, they can go through that data in record time so that we can actually see what's happening, not only in real time, but then when we look at the data all throughout the world, within 48 hours, we know exactly what's happening. So looking at today, Thursday here at NBAA, we're actually looking at today being the number one day in business aviation traffic since 2007. And we'll know that for sure just in, in a short amount of time after we close the book after today. And we'll get those reports out. So you're bringing all this data in and you got going through it, your own analytics, you have some statisticians, you have all these people are crunching this information, and you're really turning that around to analyze uh, many facets of business and where we are as far as the growth structure. And that's one of my next question for you. Is, you know, we're seeing 35, 38% year-over-year growth uh, coming out of 2020, 2021. You know, tell us what you're seeing in the growth market right now. Well, we're seeing very similar growth, and we, we break it all down into what the OEMs are doing, right, as far as new aircraft deliveries, seeing those new entrants coming into, whether it's uh, private flights, uh, charter flights, and, and how that is increasing the marketplace. We also look at just overall activity with how the international market opens up, right? And as that starts to open up and COVID starts to die down, we're really starting to see this growth take effect and really where the rubber meets the road, right? And that's where we're starting to see now long-range aircraft taking shape into the market. And, and you know, whether it's a BBJ or a long-range 7X, we're starting to see more and more of that activity out there. So you're spot on with what you're saying. So at MBAA 2021, one of the common themes that has been reiterated by many, you know, Embraer, others, you know, uh, Kitty Dichter, we're hearing the same thing from Ken Ritchie, that we're seeing 35% year over year growth. And I think, uh, I guess my question to you is, you know, can you corroborate that in real time through your products? We can absolutely do that. When we look at our Clearview product, we can see the activity of those particular operators. Uh, we can go beyond that. We can look at every operator out there. And yeah, I think what they're seeing out there, they actually use our data to look at this stuff. And yeah, they're, they're right on with it. Um, we see it in real time. Um, and at the end of the day, the tools are all designed that what we provide our clients out there is designed so that they can make strategic decisions going forward. Because when you have the growth we're talking about, how do you keep that growth going, right? And you know, you have to start making decisions on where you're going to invest, whether it's additional sales or where you're gonna put your marketing dollars, what have you, for that business. And to understand exactly where the demand is in the market, you gotta go beyond just the general thought of growth. You gotta start looking at route structure, you gotta start looking at regional demand and where that's coming from. And that's exactly what our data helps all of our clients. Well, you know, Mike, it's not just data at Argus. You know, I, I know we have an SMS program you've launched. Uh, you also have auditing that you do. What different business lines is Argus in today? Today, obviously the data side, right? And when we look at safety in general, 
that's what Argus really is about, right? Because we're so heavily in, engaged in safety, we have the analytics side to help our customers understand how to be more efficient and how to be safer, how to operate better. But then our safety side gets into SMS, right? It's a hot topic right now. We were, we were one of the first into the industry with this. We have new products coming out every day. We just launched a wonderful tool, fully customizable for pilots to use from a small single engine airplane to a medium to large operator, all, all set. Even, even a drone pilot could use it. It's a wonderful, wonderful tool. Uh, our consulting branch in safety helps pilots and operators understand how to do a better job. We help with their safety officers, we train them, and, and really get into the, the nitty gritty of what it means to be proactive in safety. And, and then on top of all that, our, our whole audit branch, we have our Argus standards that we bring to the market, which is top notch above anything else out there. And I'll let Ed speak to that here in a second. But then when you look at the auditors that go out and do that, we pride ourselves on bringing in the best auditors best experience, people that can really come in and work with our clients one-on-one -on -one and do the audit, but also help them understand how they can do better next time. So it, you sell a lot of these products as a software with service solution to where they have access to this information that you then perpetually upgrade, right? Yes. So when you have an SMS uh, customer, they actually can subscribe to your product right. and then you can perpetually improve that to keep up with ever-changing regulation around this area. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, the, the new product just came out and we call it Safety Link. And it, right now it's it's set up as a frat so people can start getting used to that and then more and more modules be added into that. Uh, you know, hazard reporting, uh, ground, ground uh, what is it, uh, GRAT, you know, um, ground risk assessment, all those things will start to come into play for them to, to develop and implement. So when the FAA talks about SMS needing to be scalable, they can actually come to Argus and we can actually work with small operator up to the large operator. Yeah, that's a really you know, really compelling benefit of your product line from where I sit, uh, you know, being in the industry. Managing an SMS program is a very complex task and you know, being able to acquire that like a Salesforce solution, uh, you know, where literally you just you know put a credit card in and now all of a sudden you know it's turnkey and done and now Argus takes that workload off of our, our team to really focus on safety. Uh, is, is a compelling benefit. I think people miss that with, with Argus' solution. Absolutely, yeah, and, and what's, I, I just, one of the best things is the team is really changing the industry's thought to be more proactive, right? It's not just to go out and be safe and fill out the checklist and say, yep, I did the checklist, we're, we're good to go, right? It's how do we continuously evaluate ourselves? So a lot of what we're do, uh, building into our products is safety intelligence so that we can track and trend what's going on in the organization, because even the little things start to pile up on us over time and could break that safety chain, right? Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the day, you want to know what's happening over time, even the small things. So safety intelligence is a big thing for us, and that's one of the things we bring to our clients. So I'd like to learn a little bit about more of the safety packages you offer, Ed. Can you expand on the, like the pros, the prism, the track pack, and you expand on some of the safety programs and who would use them and how we access them? Sure, so TrackPack is really a solution where uh, whether you're an FBO or an operator or even a, 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 you know, a user of Lyft, um, you can gain insight into the industry uh, based on the, the data we track. Um, uh, it's especially uh, uh, great for, uh, say, an FBO where they can see flight activity uh, maybe at their competitor or at another, uh, another airport that they're thinking about moving into. Um, and we give them a really easy solution to pull all that information together and, and, and manage it. Often you can get big chunks of data from various places, but how you manipulate that becomes a challenge. So that's one of the benefits about TrackPack. And with regard to PRISM, which is our safety management solution, I was uh, very uh, pleased when I was hired by Argus. I, I started working in that segment uh, first, and still one of my favorite, uh, uh, favorite uh, elements of my, my job is working with uh, the safety officers because often there's a lot of focus on the 119 managers, the directors of operations, the chief pilots, uh, and the safety officer. It's not really a 119 managed position. There's not a whole lot of FAA requirement for that position, if any at all, in the 135 space. Yet, back in 2001, Argus started supporting these safety officers, providing training, uh, providing solutions for them to actually go through this, and, and that was one of the my, my favorite uh, 
jobs of Argus is interacting with those safety officers and to see it grow to where it's at now, where like it, like I said, Halsey, it's a it's a turnkey solution. So um, uh, it's 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 really one of the big benefits of, of Argus. And what we do in our our department, where we do the assessments of the operators, is we can take inputs from the various other elements of Argus. So we're taking inputs from the market intelligence side and inputs in from the, the safety management side. So we get a bigger, polar picture you know, of, of the operation uh, environment. Thank you so much for joining us here today. I look forward to seeing your progress. You're both welcome anytime on Straight and Level. Thank you so much for being here today. It's great to be back face-to-face -face in the business aviation industry. On. on behalf of the crew of Straight and Level, a special thanks to all of our guests for joining us live on the broadcast set in the MBAA static display. I'm Holsey Smith, and until next time, blue skies. <laughs>